In today's lesson, I am going to help you improve your listening, your speaking, and I'm going to help you get a better score on the Versan test. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on the listen and speak Versant test. We're going to focus on part B of this test. In part B, it's the listen and repeat section. I think this is the most difficult section because it, you, you really have to focus on each sentence. And some of the sentences are quite long. They can be between 15 to 20 words. So remembering all of those words is difficult. But the more you practice this skill, the easier it becomes. So that's what we'll do today. In today's lesson, I'll give you 15 sentences for you to repeat. All right, so if this is your first time watching one of my videos, if it's your first time practicing the Versant Part B, then let me go over what will happen. But before I do that, if this is your first time, then do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Also, give a like to this video. You don't have to like it now. You know, by the end of this lesson, if you, you know, when you finish the lesson, hit that like button. And then also hit the notification bell as well so you know when my next lessons come out. All right, so the Versant B, what happens is you're going to hear a sentence. And it could be a man, it could be a woman, it could be a person who's from England, from Australia, from America, from Canada, many different accents. After you hear the sentence, you have to repeat it. You have 15 seconds to repeat that sentence. Now, 15 seconds could be very, very long or it could be very, very short, but you have 15 seconds and you can't jump ahead. So you have to wait the 15 seconds before the next phrase is said. So remain focused. If you can repeat it quickly, you have to stay focused and ready for the second or the next phrase. Don't start daydreaming. Don't start thinking about the weekend or what you're going to have for dinner. Stay focused because you need to listen and repeat each sentence word for word. Now, in today's lesson, you will have two chances to do this. The first chance, you will hear all 15 of the sentences. After each 15, like I said, repeat the sentence. Now, it's very important. You must speak out loud. So go somewhere where you have some privacy. Don't just say it in your head because if you're practicing the Versan test or for the Versan test, or if you're practicing to improve your speaking, it's important that you're actually speaking. So go somewhere where you have privacy and after each sentence, repeat it out loud. Now, after you do 15, we're going to do it a second time. The second time, I will actually put the sentence on the screen. That way you can check to see if you are right. And by putting it on the screen, any of the difficult sentences, you can shadow along. Right? This will help you with your speed, your fluency, with your chunking. Right? So make sure you do it the second time as well. All right, let's start with the first time. You'll hear 15. These are sentences that are going to be exactly like the real Versant test. All right, good luck. I bought a new car. She runs every single morning. He plays soccer on weekends. The cat is under there.
They enjoy traveling every year. We usually go hiking when the weather is nice outside. She's planning to visit her family during the winter holiday. He forgot to bring his laptop to the office this morning. They are studying hard for their upcoming exams next week. I'm thinking about getting a new phone in December. After finishing the project, we plan to celebrate with a small party next weekend. She had already booked her flight before the company changed the meeting schedule again. He quickly realized that moving to a new city wasn't as easy as expected. If you're free tomorrow evening, we can go out for dinner at my favorite restaurant. The company announced a new policy regarding remote work, which will start next month. Okay, so how did you do? That was the first try. Did you do well? Did you get all of the sentences? Some of them were probably easy. Some of them might have been more difficult. All right. The only way we can check to see if you are correct is keep watching. Now we are going to do it a second time. This time the sentences will be on the screen so you can check to see if you were right. You can also try it again. This is your second chance at repeating. Now also remember if you're new to this channel, right? Now you've practiced it one time. Hopefully this is helping your English. If you like this type of video, if you like these lessons, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like and hit that notification bell. All right, let's practice it for a second time right now. I bought a new car. She runs every single morning.
He plays soccer on weekends. The cat is under there. They enjoy traveling every year. We usually go hiking when the weather is nice outside. She's planning to visit her family during the winter holiday. He forgot to bring his laptop to the office this morning. They are studying hard for their upcoming exams next week. I'm thinking about getting a new phone in December. After finishing the project, we plan to celebrate with a small party next weekend. She had already booked her flight before the company changed the meeting schedule again. He quickly realized that moving to a new city wasn't as easy as expected. If you're free tomorrow evening, we can go out for dinner at my favorite restaurant. The company announced a new policy regarding remote work, which will start next month. Okay, so that was the second time. How did you do? How many did you get correct? Please let me know your score in the comment section. All right, tell me, tell me the number of correct sentences you made. Don't be shy, let me know. That way I can try to help you if you need help. And if you got all of them perfect, let me know because then I can say, hey, congratulations to you, all right? I have a lot of Versant videos on my channel part b part c part d so there's a lot of listening exercises for you to do and a lot of fluency building exercises so make sure you check out all of those videos <clears throat> excuse me as well all right and if you have any questions about any of the vocabulary the phrases leave it in the comment section all right guys until the next lesson see ya
Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today, we practiced the listen and repeat section of the Versant test. If you liked today's video, you think it was useful for your English, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Remember, practicing this video many times and practicing with my other Versant videos will only improve your score. Until the next lesson, see ya.